In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix those dry spots in your lawn once and for all. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you just how quickly you can turn things around and show you the results. Let's get into the video. If you've been following along, you know I am dealing with some dry spots in the lawn. And if you remember, the, the way I identified that was um, the first, you know, we kind of become a little bit of a detective, if you will. I mean, you so I made sure that I wasn't dealing with a pest issue. You know, I made sure that I wasn't dealing with a fungus issue. Is. Uh, I took a screwdriver out to the lawn and tried to drive a screwdriver in some of those brown spots just to, you know, confirm my suspicions. and exactly what I thought I was dealing with are dry spots or because of a compaction issue. I'm gonna do something about it. As I've said many times, my lawn is irrigated. And so if your lawn is not irrigated, I don't recommend you doing this because you're gonna only make the, the, the fact that the turf is dry even worse by poking holes in it. So the first step that we did, if you remember, is we took a uh, manual core aerator and we walked around those spots and we plugged holes in the ground, again, to try to relieve some of the compaction. You know, my belief is water, air, and nutrients are not getting down into the grass, causing that yellowing, that browning of the grass. Because if you remember, we went over to some other parts of the lawn and the screwdriver went in really easy. Obviously, it's compaction issues. So we're gonna do something about it. So we manually core aerated, and then I went and purchased some aerate. I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna talk about aerate and show you guys what that's all about. And then we're gonna mix it up and then we're gonna apply it to the lawn. I first wanna say that if you read the, the label to aerate, the first step that it tells you to do is to water the lawn because aerate has to be driven down into the soil. And so you wanna make sure that you have adequate soil moisture. Ran the irrigation for an hour per zone uh, this morning. So that gave me a roughly a half inch of water. So we're doing good there. It is slightly cooler today, which is very nice, but we're supposed to heat back up here in just a little bit. We're gonna be back up into the 90s tomorrow and 95 and 95, and then I think maybe back into the 90s again the day after that. So heat is not letting up and you know we're just, we're, we're gonna have to do something about these dry spots because they're not gonna fix themselves on their own. They're gonna really become a problem later in the year. So let's take a look at Air 8 and show you what that's all about. All right, so Air 8 is uh, analysis of 005. It's basically just 5% potash. It's got a lot of humic, a lot of fulvic, but basically what Air 8 does is it will relieve compaction on a molecular level. It basically causes the ground or the dirt or hard clay to fracture. And in those fractures, you know, it'll pump in that fulvic and that humic, giving space in the turf for the roots to expand, allow water and nutrients to go down in there. So not only did we relieve the compaction manually, but we're also going to add some aerate to that again, just to help aid and dry up some, you know, help relieve some of those compaction issues. What we're going to do is we're going to mix up aerate at nine ounces per thousand in a backpack sprayer. And then I'm going to go around in those heavy, in those spots, and I'm going to heavy uh, apply the air eight. And then we're going to water those spots in in the morning again with another half inch of water because we've got to get that, we've got to get air eight down into the root zone. So let's go mix this up and spray it out. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm actually gonna be covering roughly about 2,000 square feet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually fill this up with four gallons of water. I will say aerate is very, very thick. It's very soupy. So I don't, I mean, I'm sure this flow zone sprayer could handle it, but I'm gonna actually use some of that extra carrier volume to help drive it down as well and get really good coverage. Not that that really matters, but that's what we're gonna do. So. Uh, mix up our air eight because it likes to settle to the bottom like i said nine ounces per thousand is going to be our our application rate so i'm going to mix up 18 ounces of this really quick i'm wearing if you notice i'm wearing a select t-shirt 
Uh, so shout out to all of the volleyball dads out there. I've got a, a, a daughter who plays volleyball and she just loves when I wear this shirt uh, to support her. She's like, dad, you're on YouTube and you're showing my shirt. So she likes that. So shout out to all the, the volleyball dads out there. Volleyball is a lot of fun. A lot of work too, but I love it. I love watching girls volleyball. Okay, so we're gonna do nine ounces, so 18 ounces of aerate in here. Again, like I always say, we wanna rinse this thing out and get all the goodness out of here. All right, rinse that out. Fill this all the way up and we'll mix it up and then we'll get out there and we'll spray it really heavy on those spots. Oh. Dummy, you gotta mix it up first. Just be really careful. Obviously this stuff will stain. So you wanna make sure you clean it up really good. Now we can put the lid on. Let's go spray. So that is what we call painting it black. So you can see by the pictures here that uh, I really threw it down nice and thick. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna set the irrigation to run in the morning. We're gonna give it another half inch of water, drive that aerate down into those holes that we, again, mainly created. And uh, we'll come back in two or three days and show you guys the results. We're gonna bring out a screwdriver and, and show you, you know, did we actually relieve some compaction and you know, I don't expect aerate to work overnight like this. You know, maybe this will become something where I have to start doing this every month. But I, I guarantee, you know, poking those holes in the ground is going to help relieve some compaction. So let's see if it makes a difference. We'll see you guys in a couple days. It's been four days and temperatures are still uh, incredibly hot. Today is going to be almost 95. Yesterday was 96. So I'll give you a quick shot at the lawn. We just finished up watering this morning. So just so you guys know kind of what's been going on. So after I did the aerate application, I told you I was going to run the sprinkler. So I did. I ran it, got half inch of water down. And then it's been two days since that. And then I ran the irrigation again, so a total of four days. And I don't know if you can, if it's picking up on the camera, but you can kind of see some of the dark spots there. Um, and really what you're seeing is more of the staining from the Air 8, not so much of, you know, the quote unquote dry spots. So once I mow, those will go away. But I'm gonna set up the camera. We're gonna walk out on the lawn. I've got my screwdriver again, and we're gonna kind of poke some holes and just see what we see and are we making a difference? I can tell you just visually that those spots are improving. I, I mean, I can just visually tell, I know I can already tell you that water's getting down there. So let's go set up the camera and let's look at it together. All right, so I'm right standing right out here in the middle of one of, one of the dry spots. Let's go to a normal spot first, a spot where we weren't having any issues and the screwdriver just goes down really easy, just like before. No problem. And then we'll come over here to one of the dry spots. I can still see some of the little plugs are still left. They're still laying here. They haven't completely melted yet. Let's put the screwdriver in. And it goes down a little bit easier, but it still wants to stop at about the three inch mark. Let's try a different spot. Yep, I went in a little bit further. So that's probably four inches there. Where if you remember, we were only getting about two inches. So I'd call that an improvement. I can definitely feel it, it's softer. It's not, that went in pretty easy. Not perfect, but I can definitely, you know, so that went down four inches. So if you remember before, we were only getting two. So let's go to a different spot. So we can still kind of see some of the staining there from the air eight. And let's come in here and see if we can't put a screwdriver in it. And that one went in really easy. Let's try a different spot. 
That one in really easy as well. Really easy. Where before, again, we were having a lot of difficulty. So this is another area. Let's come over here. You can see one of the cores laying up here on the ground. Let's just go right here. Uh, same thing, but you know, it went in four or five inches. Let's try another spot. Again, kind of the same thing. So I would call this a win. Aerate's not gonna instantly fix the lawn overnight. I didn't poke that many holes. This is really a problem that we're gonna have to fix in the fall. But I can already tell you, based on what I'm seeing, it helped. And so this is just gonna help me get through the next couple of months. And then in the fall, we'll do a really heavy plug and uh, we'll kind of help correct some of those issues. But again, you can definitely tell that we, uh, that we helped help get some water down, which is all we can ask for. Again, as I mentioned, I'm going to continue to apply aerate at nine ounces per thousand for the next two months. Again, it's just another tool in my tool belt to help me get through this really hot and dry period. Don't forget about my thousand K sub video. I'm gonna link it right here. So make sure you go check that video out. My name is Devin, the DIY Lawn Coach. Thank you so much for watching the video and I can't wait to see you in the lawn.